everyone this is Kalpana here so in this video we are going to resolve a fraction into partial fractions problem resolve 2x square plus 2x plus 1 by x cube plus x square into partial fractions okay solution let us consider the given fraction take it as p of x by q of x where p of x equals to 2x square plus 2x plus 1 and q of x equals to x cube plus x square. So here it is clear that the degree of p of x is 2 and degree of q of x is 3. You can say degree of p of x is less than degree of q of x. So from this we can say that the given fraction is a proper fraction okay so we are given a proper fraction given proper fraction Two x square plus two x plus one by x cube plus x square. So you can write it as two x square plus two x plus one by. See here in these two terms, you can take x square common. If you take x square common, you'll get x square into x plus one. See x square into x is x cube x square into 1 is x square okay so and this is equals to see so you're having x square for this x square you have two fractions a by x plus b by x square plus x plus 1 is linear so you can write c by x plus 1 okay consider it as Equation 1. Now what you have to do? You have to simplify this equation and you need to find the values of unknowns a, b and c. So I'm going to consider 2x squared plus 2x plus 1 by x squared into x plus 1 equals to a by x plus b by x squared plus c by x plus 1. Okay, so I'm going to consider it as equation number 2. Okay, so here again you can write it as 2x squared plus 2x plus 1 by x squared into x plus 1 equals 2. Now take the LCM for x, x, x squared and x plus 1. x1s are x into x are x squared x plus 1 remains the same. I can take x. Okay. 4x plus 1. So x into x into x plus 1 is x squared into x plus 1. Okay. In the numerator, see, you have to balance all the three equations while comparing to the denominator of the next step. Okay. So here you are having a by x and the denominator you are having x but here you are having x squared into x plus 1. So for a you need to include x into x plus 1 since you are already having x here 1x but here you are having x squared. So you will take 1x into x plus 1. See? So you will divide x into x plus 1 by x squared into x plus 1. x plus 1, x plus 1 gets cancelled. x by x squared will be 1 by x. So you will get totally a by x which is balanced. So now for the second part that is b part. You are having x squared. But here you are having x squared into x plus 1. So you will include x plus 1. x plus 1 b into x plus 1 by x square into x plus 1 in this x plus 1 x plus 1 gets cancelled and finally you will get b by x square. So second part also balance. Now 
Now coming to the C part, here you are having x plus 1, but here you are having x square into x plus 1. So you need to include x square to get C by x plus 1. Now compare this 2. So in this 2, x square gets cancelled and again you will get C by x plus 1. Okay. Fine. So this becomes 2x square. See, x square, x square and x plus 1, x plus 1 gets cancelled. So you get 2x square plus 2x plus 1 equals to ax into x plus 1 plus b into x plus 1 plus c into x square. Okay, you can consider it as equation 3 and also I am going to simplify to next step in order to compare the equations of x square x and constant so x is 2x square plus 2x plus 1 equals to a into x square plus ax plus bx plus b plus cx square now I will take x square constant so I will get no, I'll take x square common from these two terms. So, I'll get a plus c into x square plus. Now, consider ax and bx. Take x common from these two terms. So, I'll get a plus b into x. And finally, constant b. Okay. So, we can consider it as equation number 4. Okay. So. Now, consider equation 3. Let x plus 1 equals to 0. From 3, let x plus 1 equals to 0. Then you will get x equals to minus 1. Now, substitute. x equals to minus 1 in equation 3. Then equation 3 becomes 2 into minus 1 square plus 2 into minus 1 plus 1 equals to a into minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 plus b into minus 1 plus 1 plus c into minus 1 square. Okay. So we'll get 2 into minus 1 square is 1. 2 into 1 is again 1. Minus 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 plus 1 equals 2. So here you are having minus 1 plus 1 which becomes 0. So total A part becomes 0. And for the B part also you are having minus 1 plus 1. And this part will be also equals to 0. So finally you will get the value of C. C into minus 1 square is minus 1. Okay. So, you could write it as 2 minus 2 plus 1 equals to C. 2, 2 gets cancelled. So, finally, you'll get the value of C which is equals to 1. So, you're having C equals to 1. Alright. Now, we are going to compare the coefficient. Again from 4. From 4, compare constant. So, you will get 1 equals to B. B equals to 1 or else. Okay. 
b equals to 1 you got by comparing the constant. Okay. Okay. Again from 4, compare x, quotient of x, compare quotient of x. So, I'll get 2 equals to this uh, x question, right? A plus B. Again, you're having B equals to 1. So, you can substitute the value of B here. Since B equals to 1. Then you'll get A equals to 2 minus 1, which is equals to 1. And then A equals to 1. Okay? So, you got all the three values of unknowns or three unknown values, not all the three unknown values. Fine. So, now we are going to substitute A, B, C values in equation 1. Now, substitute A, B, C values in 1. Okay, we get, firstly I am going to write equation 1, which is 2x square plus 2x plus 1 by x cube plus x square equals to 2x cube plus 2x, x square or x, okay 2x, this is x square plus 1 by x cube plus not x cube x square into x plus 1 equals to a by x plus b by x square plus c by x plus 1. So now we are going to substitute the values of a, b, c here. We will get 2x square plus 2x plus 1 by x cube plus x square equals to 2x square plus 2x plus 1 by x square into x plus 1 equals to a is 1. So, you get 1 by x plus b is having 1. 1 by x square plus c also you are having 1. So, you get 1 by x plus 1. Okay. So, we have resolved the fraction, the given fraction into Proper, not proper fraction, partial fractions. Therefore, 2x square plus 2x plus 1 by x cube plus x square equals to 1 by x plus 1 by x square plus 1 by x plus 1. So, this completes the problem. So, we have seen a problem from partial fractions in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.